Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. This video was stolen. I saw my beautiful friend Jenna Van Marek. She's back and better than ever on the YouTube platform and I'm so excited but she did this video a couple weeks ago and I absolutely loved it and I even commented I'm like I'm totally gonna have to steal this well today is the day Miss Jenna I stole your video idea I should probably tell you what video that is <laughs> I'll link it so you guys can watch it because it was an absolutely amazing video and essentially what she did is she went through her book collection and she picked a book cover that she loved or liked um, the best and did a cover per color. So like she picked a red book, an orange book, a yellow book, and so forth. And I thought, well Alicia, you are a cover snob and you have over a thousand books. This would be a great video idea. You love talking about covers. And then I started thinking and I was like, how on earth am I supposed to pick one red book and one orange book and one yellow book for the thousand plus books that I have? How on earth am I supposed to dwindle that down? So I took it a step further and we are going to start a new series. Hopefully this one actually gets finished. Um, and I am going to be doing my books. I'm going to be doing a rainbow stack of books for each genre that I have. So today we're going to start a genre that is very near and dear to my heart. That is historical romance. So I, I should say historical fiction because not all of these are romance. <laughs> Shocker, I know. Um, but I went through my shelves and I picked a book per every color of the rainbow as well as a couple of additional ones that are not included in the rainbow. Though I'll say this, it was kind of hard to do. I'm not going to lie. Historical fiction tends to stick to a very similar, I say that as you see all these colors right here. Um, the spines are very colorful, but cover wise, I feel like they stick to a very similar like browns and blacks and greens. They don't really branch out a whole lot into like orange or pink like they just just because it's on the spine doesn't necessarily mean that it's a color that's prominent in the cover so a couple of these we might have to stretch a little bit but I did my best obviously I have so many books with covers that I absolutely adore there are a couple that I'm like oh but I could use it for this prompt too like oh but I was good and I have one book per color it's time for reading rainbow and that can make it copyrighted possibly but we're gonna get into the colors. First is red. I had a couple options that I could use for red, but this one I have loved the cover of for, well, since I saw it. <laughs> and that is the All American by Susie Finkbeiner. And this is like as red as you can get. The whole, whole situation, whole cover is red. So that's my red pick. Orange, we might have to stretch our minds a little. It's leaning a little yellow, but orange was such a hard color to find a cover of. I guess orange doesn't, I don't know if orange just doesn't print well or what, but this one could be both. And I did The Gold in These Hills by Joanna Bischoff. And it's just very fall vibes, um, but it could be both gold well uh, orange and yellow but we're going with orange next I have yellow and I knew instantly this was going to be the book I picked because it's head in the clouds by Karen Woodmeyer I love this book I love this cover so much it is one of my favorites all around absolutely adore it next is green and that is I picked lost in darkness by Michelle Gray and I just love just the overlay of this. I love the cover in and of itself. Um, the book was very good. It's a take on Frankenstein. I really enjoyed it. I know quite a few people in our book club, we read it for book club, did not like it, but I did. Next is blue. 
And for that, I did Until Leaves Fall in Paris by Sarah Sundin. This book is just so pretty. The story inside is just as beautiful. Um, but it's like this light blue color. For Indigo, this one, the spine has it more so, but it does definitely go into the cover a bit. Um, but I did In a Far Off Land by Stephanie Lansom. It's just like that deep, deep blue. It's really coming in on the spine and then the back of the book. I love this cover. That's Indigo. And then Violet, it's really just kind of purple. But I did, which one's this? A Return to Hawthorne House by Christiane Hunter, which is the Hawthorne House novella collection. And it is purple. That's my rainbow. Now we're going to do some colors that aren't in the rainbow. First I'm going to do pink. All, such a hard color to find on a cover in historical fiction. I don't know why, but it is. But I did have this one, and I chose The Paris Dressmaker by Christy Cambron. So pretty. Love this. Next is white, and white is a pretty hard cover to find in historical fiction as well. So I chose one where white is the primary color on the cover. There are some secondary colors, but white is like the the primary color and that is Shadows of the White City by jo Jocelyn Green. This whole series, the Windy City Saga, all have primarily white covers with secondary accents um, which I love. Love the covers of that series. So pretty. Then I went with brown or tan-ish and again this is a color on covers that is so easy to find in historical fiction. But this is one of my favorite covers ever. I love this cover. I have a video idea of recreating book covers and this is one that I absolutely want to recreate. Um, so again, this has some other primary or other secondary colors, but brown and tan is like the primary, primary color. And that is For the Record by Regina Jennings. Isn't that so cute? I love this cover so much. And then last but not least is black. There are some darker colors. I had a couple options that I could have done for this. But this one, just the whole book is just dark. Like the cover is just dark. Now there are some, again, accent colors. Red is a very big accent color. But this one just, I knew I had to talk about it because I just really love the cover. And that is the Holly and the Ivy. It shows up very red on the camera, but it is very, like, dark in person. But this is a novella collection by with books by Sarah M. Eden, Esther Hatch, Dana Le, Le Chamond, and Annika R. Walker. And it is just stunning. You will be seeing this on my Christmas TBR. <laughs> but this is my option for my choice for black. So, all right, let's look at our rainbow of colors. Ah! Here it is, my rainbow of historical fiction book covers. And again, I have so many that I love, but these are some that I just wanted to highlight and just stood out to me today. I really enjoy going through my shelves and um, finding color-based covers. It was a lot of fun and I'm super excited to go through my shelves and do other genres. So let me know in the comments below what genre you want to see next. I have contemporary, I have rom-coms, which technically yes they're contemporary, but I think that those can be its own video in and of itself. I have suspense, I have fantasy, we can do, I think we can try to do a dual timeline, maybe. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you want to see. Ooh, biblical fiction. Jenna, I got you. I got you. I could try to do it with biblical fiction too. So it's been just super fun to go through my shelves and see all the books that I have because they make me happy and all the colors and the spines and the covers make me happy. And let me know what you would pick for historical fiction, what you have on your shelves. Do you have an orange or pink book? What am I missing? Let me know because maybe I have it on my shelves and for some reason I just didn't see it. I would love to know. Check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can also check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!